parts. First of all, um, there's the, the almost prosaic question of how, does, how do foundations maybe get more, uh, more um, adept at um, listening to what the African American community in particular in Pittsburgh has to say and, and to make sure that the, the people who we're trying to reach through our philanthropy are represented in our philanthropy so that they're part of the staffs and they're part of the boards. Um, and I, I say this is an almost prosaic question because in some ways, to me, it misses the point. But l let me stick for a moment on why it is on point. It is on point because it matters who's in the room, it matters who gets a voice, it matters who's at the table. And, um, and when the question has been raised, as it has recently in Pittsburgh uh, by Jake Wheatley, among others, um, foundations need to be darn sure that as we're attempting to help a largely African-American community with significant challenges, that those voices really are represented on our own teams and in our grant making and in the organizations that we fund. Um, and it matters that, that there be uh, opportunities and avenues of growth for African-American leaders or future African-American leaders. And we tend to refer to this in Pittsburgh in black and white terms because that's largely how the problem exists and manifests in Pittsburgh. It's not like California, a state now where there is no majority. Uh, we've missed out on 50 years of immigration for the most part. And while we're seeing immigration begin to happen now, we have challenges primarily around uh, high, high levels of African American poverty in our community. So, so foundations are taking, a group of us are taking a good hard look at how we articulate our own policies, who we talk to, um, who we invite in to submit proposals. And that's been a great process, um, anything but prosaic. It has really opened up our thinking about um, how we maintain an ongoing and dynamic dialogue with a community that itself is in constant flux, uh, because it's dangerous to assume that the community itself remains the same and always has the same leaders and the same points of entry.